What's up everybody? Another beautiful day in the Emerald Dream and today we're taking a look at Gallicrin's Fall 23 on Fortified. So starting off with this Giga pull that we're doing with the insane tank, uh, my main focus on this pack is not to blast a billion DPS AoE because they can't. Frankly, that's a skill issue. But what I do is focus down the Ripper. You can see I have target on Epoch Ripper and I just funnel all my Elemental Blast into it. When I can't Elemental Blast anymore, I don't have any charges, then I chain Lightning. Otherwise, I just focus on the two Rippers. I try to keep Flame Shock up on both of them, Lashing Flame and yeah, Elemental Blast because they have way more health than anything else in the pack. You can see there, what, there was two Rippers in this pack. There's one alive. And it's still, you know, miles ahead of the other mobs. And you can see our resident demon hunter Havoc there doing like, I, mean, I think he peaked on 1.5 million DPS. So yeah, the Ripper is what I focus on there. You can also uh, in cap the, we're going to jump back just a little bit to that pack. Uh, I believe it's the time slicer that you can in cap or knock up or stun. But also if their casts go through, uh, there it is, tempo slice. You can purge it from the time slicer if you want to. The next pack, same thing here, really. There's no difference. I just focus down the rippers, try and or the no, there's two the the rippers, and try and make sure they die at the same time as everything else. The only thing that's really scary here is if you get targeted by like the Chrono Weaver and you don't interrupt, or if you stand in the rippers AOE. So jumping ahead a bit to the boss, there's really no hidden tech here for what I do because this boss is very very straightforward. Like the only big thing you can do is during Eon Shatter, make sure you have some something to cast, you know, either an Empowered Frost Chalk, an Elemental Blast, whatever. So you do something while running. <laughs> but that's pretty much it. Otherwise, I like Wind Rush, Spirit Walk whenever Eon Shatter goes out, so I can have more uptime. Whenever the Sand Stomps go out, I try to, you know, put it near the old sand. But yeah, there, there's really not a whole lot to say about this boss as far as what to do. Just blast. Blast! So this pack is like giga scary. There's this is where we chain wiped in the 25 because yeah, it hurts. It hurts. So usually my main focus, like we're starting off with this pull because you're gonna get a spawn from the portal. I just put out my flame shocks on these three, interrupt a bit, and when the new pack joins in, I make sure to spread flame shock to them. Then I primordial wave so I have six targets. On this particular pull, my focus is usually the coalesce time which is the big mob that does the uh, infinite bolt volley, which you need to interrupt. Uh, that's my main focus here. Again, funneling an uh, elemental blast into it. Chrono burst, I just run out, you get dispelled. Pop defensives if you have it, it really hurts. Keep in mind though, when you get the big circle, not really enhanced tech, but when you get the chrono burst, if you hit any of these dormant adds, the yellow adds, they will spawn. So if possible, you want to move somewhere where there aren't that many. Uh, otherwise, Leech, their Enervate needs to be interrupted. You can knock it up, stun, etc. But if it goes off like it did there, you can purge it. You can see there I purged it, even though it was at 1%, but you can purge it. So do that. But it's only if you miss a kick on them. For the next pull, uh, it's the Anomaly that I like to smack down because it has way more HP. And it hurts a metric ton. It has a frontal, don't stand in it. I mean, it's the same as the rest. I just blast down the Anomaly as fast as I can. Spam heal myself during Bloom. Bloom hurts a metric ton if it isn't instantly dispelled. Same thing if you get targeted by Enervate, it will hurt a lot. Um, so again, try and interrupt those. Purge if it does go off, focus damage on the Anomaly. And then we move forward for the next pack. Uh, I think we messed shit up here. Maybe this is where we wipe. I think we wipe here once. Uh, regardless, here you have both an Anomaly and a Coalesce Time. So focus here is going to be the Anomaly and then the Coalesce Time after that. Just make sure to interrupt Innervates. Innervates. Uh, here I get the Chrono Burst. I think this is where I die. Yeah, I pop down too low there. So you got to Yeah, 500k. Okay. I got to be above 50% and then I ank and instantly die. For the boss, my nemesis, there's like two ways to dodge the orbs. The one they want me to do and the one I do. The one I do currently is I just stand far back and let all the balls spawn. Like you, you can have insane max range here and you just move back out and move between. The only time it's sketch and you'll see that in a bit is when you spawn too close. So I get accelerating time, just move into the zone. If you don't get the first dispel, you can go out into the slow zone because you won't take ticking damage then. Uh, but you have to be prepared to run back in right before it goes off because you want to spawn it in the fast zone. Uh, another thing to mention on this fight as Enhancement Shaman is self-heal. 
whenever these dispels are going on, just heal yourself. Like if you're, ever, it, it hurts so much, especially on a tyrannical key, key. This is fortified, but on a tyrannical key, they really hurt. So if a dispel goes off and you're at 30% HP and you're not healing yourself, you're trolling. Just top yourself. Here we have, you see, th this is where my strat for this can get dodgy. Because you gotta, you know, run. Y you can move to the right instead and go around. I just go through this one, YOLO. Like, that's the only dodge you would standing far back. Uh, but otherwise, it's not that much. Like, use defensives on the dispels. Self-heal if you need. Health stone, health pot, all the good stuff. And just, nope, bounce. Done. Don't get balls in the face. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Don't stand in the swirlies. Swirls are bad. Ish. If you want to help out, you can um, pop Ancestral Guidance on this one. Although, I would recommend saving it for the pull after, depending on if you... Even if you only do a single Dragon pack on the next pull, Ancestral Guidance is mad value. Because I pop Ancestral Guidance on this pack. You can check my healing here. Like, that's just Ancestral Guidance. Almost 3 mil healing. The power of Ancestral Guidance on AoE. Now, but it's insanely good for these double pulls because there's so much damage going on and there's so many mobs. So you, you can do like easily between two and three million healing with enough damage done. Apart from Ancestral Guidance, I forgot to say that my main focus for these packs are the dragons, like the chunks, the chunky boys, um, they will die. So again, I just try and keep Lashing Flame up on both dragons when I do it properly. I'm not doing it here because I'm dumb. And then I just Elemental Blast. You know, as much as human as possible. And then chain lightning when it's on cooldown. Uh, one thing you can see that I do here is... Uh, we'll just have to fast forward a little bit. Here, I have 12 seconds left on Primordial Wave. Because on AOE, we generate so much Maelstrom. So I have 12 seconds left on Primordial Wave. My wolf is back. I instantly press wolves. Get Primordial Wave back. And then slap it away. That's with the new four set though. Otherwise on these, like when it's sketchy, make sure to have Earth Shield up. Make sure to self-heal if you go low. Always have Earth Shield up. Earth Shield does mad healing on you. How do I die? Over aggro? I think I over aggro. My current tank hates me on these packs because I always flame shock one of the dragons and then I primordial wave the far away one, which he usually doesn't have threat on, and then it turns around and insta slaps me. I blame the tank, he blames me. <laughs> ah, I even elemental blasted that one. 434k crit and he turns around and butt slaps me. Ah, I should have given the tank time though. So it is my bad, but don't tell him. Um, so for this one, again, there's not a huge amount of tech in phase of one. This is dodge, do damn. Slap boss, don't take swirlies. Take the scenic route if you need. In phase two and phase three, tank will juggle the orb to one of the melee. But since we have a demon hunter, they're far better to take a ball to the face than an enhancement shaman. There is a slight difference in survivability between the two classes. Uh, so I get the orb, run back to tank, I'm gonna slap it over there. Depending on, like, if people are going low here, you can Ancestral Guidance, the Necrotic Winds. But otherwise, there isn't much to it. You can Wind Rush if you want to make it easier, but it's not really hard to dodge swirl or er, Swirling Tornadoes. The real tech is when we get the uh, third boss. First of all, when they go into their blob form and then turn into dragons, they will take away any debuffs you have. So if you try and squeeze in Flame Shock before their dragons, it's just gonna be erased, so don't do that. Wait until their dragon form, flame shock one of them, primordial wave the other, and then slap away. I have primordial wave on cooldown here, that's why I didn't throw one on the dragon. Two target primordial wave slapping us there, and then just make sure to tab target on lava lash so you get uh, lashing flame up on both. Don't take the breath to the face like I did there, it's actually really bad for your health. Um, then it is when the ne Necro Frost goes out, there you have one. I instantly turn around, flame shock it, because then I can promote a wave for a third target and break the root really fast. So if you can time Primordial Wave with the roots, it's mad value, you get more haste and you break them out fast. But that's pretty much it for this one. So we bounce ahead. Sometimes we kill the first pack. But for this, it's kind of, if you do end up killing anything here, it's like the first pull of the dungeon, just be on the Ripper. Nuke the Ripper, interrupt the stone elementals, the creations, uh, stone bolt. Look at the bubbles! Mina bubbler! So on Eridicaron, we can, um, we can get some mad pumps out, but it's just because the buffs you get on this fight is really good for enhancement. 
haste, yo. So it is depending on what cooldowns we have running. Like right now we have darkness running and other things, so I don't defensive here. Otherwise I'll astral shift one of them. I'll pop earth elemental on another one because you get 15% haste. And yeah, you can always healing surge yourself during those. So, uh, but this 50% haste here is real giga juicy. Uh, for the earth surge, easiest way to dodge this is just be max range at all time. And you, you can just sidestep it and you can move over like the end piece of these waves. Like you can see here, I run over it, I don't take any damage. But it has to be the tail end of it. So stand max range and it's giga easy to dodge. Should never get hit. Like if you stand way up in his butthole, uh, things are getting a bit dicey. Don't brown nose the balls. Uh, for this one, I usually, um, when the ads spawn, when we get the frontal, I try and time my, depending on, I try to time my primordial wave here. So you see, I pop it, wolves, and I elemental blast. So I have the buff up still, nine seconds, flame shock one of them, spread it, and we lightning bolt. So then we get 28% haste, we help kill the ads. Then I usually try to crash lightning if they're in front of the boss, so I potentially can get some crash cleave going on. So here I'm gonna pop a defensive, I'm fairly sure. Yeah, astral shift this one and um, and just stack up in this. So like I said, if you need a cooldown on this one, either astral shift or uh, earth alley or anything. So in this part of the burn, like we're just insane on this as enhancement because the damage buff, the haste, the everything we get. If you get a hot hand proc during this, you can use every single global as lava lash, use lava, 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 pretty much, and spend, you know, on elemental blast or lightning bolt. But you can see I'm just chugging out lava lashes and just wrecking the boss. You can also line that up with um, ancestral guidance to do some mad healing during that one. And that's pretty much it for Dawn of the Infinite, Galakrin's Fall 23.